OpenAI just launched their latest models, all three and all three mini, and it's a whole new level. This new model is way ahead of all previous ones. It works at the PhD level. The coolest thing about O3 is its ability to self-check through an internal chain of reasoning. It can plan actions and explain its decisions. Plus, you can adjust how much time it spent thinking. The more time, the more accurate the results. O3 managed to solve 91% of the tasks in the ARC AGI benchmark. Just for comparison, O1 couldn't get past 30%. This benchmark is used to test potential AGI. It's full of tricky questions, kind of like IQ tests or brain teasers. And humans usually score around 85%. On top of that, O3 ranked 175th among all developers in the world. Okay, this is not the first place, but still better than 99.9% of all participants. Pretty impressive, right? For now, you cannot test the model yourself. They have put it in public safety tests, which means that scientists are checking to make sure it doesn't suddenly decide to take over the world. But they have promised to make it publicly available in January 2025, which is super soon. It's interesting if O1 was already outsmarting everyone, what's this new model going to be capable of? Oh, and you may ask, where is O2? Well, they skip it because the brand name was already taken. As for the Orion or O5 model, it's progressing slower than the company expected. The reason? They are running out of data to train it on. They already fed it everything. The internet, the code, books, movies, you name it. And now OpenAI is hiring special people to create synthetic content for training future models. Basically, developers are writing code to solve different tasks so the model can learn from it. And your wired AI will replace people? Well, depends on how you look at it. Feeling lonely? We've got the solution. Call ChatGPT. The perfect companion, anytime, anywhere. Call a message right now. No, this is not a joke. OpenAI announced that you can now call ChatGPT on the phone. And if you are not a fan of phone calls, you can just message on WhatsApp. ChatGPT finally added projects a way to organize charts with a shared context. You can include things like work documents and custom instructions for a group of charts in one project. Honestly, this is the feature I've been missing the most in ChatGPT to bring some order to the chaos. Google didn't announce a parade of pre-holiday updates, but with a number of releases, they are definitely keeping up with OpenAI. Google dropped Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking, their first reasoning model and basically an alternative to O1. You can actually test it for free on their website right now. This model can tackle tough problems in programming, math and physics, explaining each step on its thought process as it goes. Unlike OpenAI, Google's model is built on the standard Google 2.0 Flash. That said, the thinking model is limited to 32K context, but that hasn't stopped users on Chatbot Arena from ranking it first, tied with another experimental model. The original Gemini 2.0 Flash is great for a wide range of tasks, including programming. And by the end of the year, Google is actively reclaiming a lot of AI ground it clearly started losing a couple of years ago. Then Google basically blew up Twitter with their video generator Vio. Yep, they waited for the Sora announcement and then dropped their own. Vio 2 is seriously impressive. It understands real-world physics and the specifics of human movements. And they're promising 4K resolution and videos lasting several minutes plus it's less prone to hallucinating extra details like extra fingers. But so far, this is based only on cherry-picked examples from their website. Access to the model is limited for now and only available to select users. We will have to wait for public access to give a proper reviews. Have you noticed that a lot of AI companies are increasingly releasing future projects that are still in beta or even earlier stages? Standalone video generators are keeping pace too. Honestly, I'd say they are leading this race. Biggest latest feature, Scene Ingredients, is pretty wild. This feature lets you create videos with the real people and objects and place them in a specific settings. It looks super cool. And if it works perfectly on the first try, it would be a game changer. Meanwhile, Instagram is teasing its own video generator, MovieGen. 
which seems like it will be built right into the app. It can swap backgrounds, add any clothing or accessories you want, and even turn the creator into a cartoon character in a chosen style. They're saying it will launch publicly in 2025. Another standout among video generators is open source project Genesis. This system lets you simulate real physical processes and visualize them. Essentially, it uses a physical model to generate not just videos like we used to, but actual 3D simulations that account for the physics of materials and processes. It's seriously impressive. Just look at it. Microsoft, with all the buzz from OpenAI and Google, decided to make GitHub Copilot free for everyone. Now, all 115 million developers on the platform get access to 2,000 code completions and 50 chat messages per month using VS Code. All you need to do is log in with your GitHub account. You will be able to choose between Claude 3.5, Sonnet, and GPT-40. You can ask questions about your code, get explanation for existing code, debug, and even edit multiple files at once. For students, teachers, and maintainers of open source projects, unlimited free access to Copilot Pro stays the same. It's really a strong move in the competition with a cursor and windsurf by Codeum. Eleven Labs launched an AI for super fast speech generation. The updated model generates speech in just 75 milliseconds and supports 32 languages. That's insanely fast. It's available for app integration through their API. They have also rolled out three AI-powered Santa calls. You can talk to Santa, make your holiday wish list, and check if you made it onto the nice list this year. Compared to previous years, AI Santa has leveled up. He responds instantly, sounds super realistic, and understands just about anything you say. Meta is adding three new features to its Ray-Ban smart glasses. A live AI assistant, real-time translation, and Shazam. The first two are only available to early access program members, while Shazam is open to all users in the United States and Canada. The AI assistant allows for a natural conversation while analyzing your surrounding. For example, in a grocery store, you could ask it for recipe ideas based on the items you see. The battery lasts about 30 minutes, though kind of underwhelming. Honestly, except for the built-in mini cameras, all these extra features feel a bit unnecessary. What do you think? That's all for today. See you next time.